All right, we're back with the Tenma here, and we're going to check the um, vertical calibration of the scope. And uh, right now we have channel A connected up to our calibration device, uh, which has uh, calibrated voltages. Uh, we are feeding that into channel A, and uh, we are right now adjusting the ground, which looks good. I can go ahead and lift the ground, and I see that I rise two divisions. And I am on the uh, 0.5 volts per division range, so that means I'm 10 volts, which is correct according to my calibrator, which is right now at 10 volts. I don't know if you can see this. We're at 10 volts. All right. Um, I will change my volt per division to 2. And we now see that we are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Five divisions up, 10 volts. I need to change my uh, Heath kit a decade down, and we are now feeding in a w calibrated one volt signal. And um, we are on two volts per division, so we see that we have a half a division. And uh, looks good. Let's go ahead and go up to one volt per division. And there we are, one division high. And if we go to a half volt per division, we are at two divisions high. Let's go ahead and see if we can get you a little closer view here. If I go to one volt, excuse me, 0.2 volts per division, we are five divisions high. If I go to 0.1, I'm off the screen. Again, I have to reduce my heat kit calibrator. And we are currently at 100 millivolts signal coming in. Uh, we are at the 0 0.2, uh, 200 millivolt per division scale setting and we see that we are half division up which is 100 millivolts which would be correct. If I go to uh, 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 volts per division uh, I am a division high that's 100 millivolts in. If I go to 50 I'm two divisions high, and if I go to 20, I'm five divisions high. I'm starting to pick up uh, some signal noise that's normal, uh, but I'm still 20 divisions up. I'm sorry, yeah, five divisions up, 20 millivolts per division, that's 100 millivolts. Go down another notch to 10. Well, we're off the screen at 10. I have to reduce my Heath kit once more. I'm now at the 10 millivolt uh, reference voltage coming in. I am on the uh, 20 millivolt per division uh, vertical range, and I see I have a half a division high. Ground, half a division. If I go to 10 millivolts per division, and I see that I have. little noise, but I'm running one division high. That's uh, 10 millivolts. If I go to um, 5 millivolts per division, all right, here we go. 5 millivolts per division, I see I'm two divisions high, which means I'm, ten, I'm reading 10 millivolts, and that's correct. And uh, I can't go any lower on my range setting, so we've gone through the whole uh, kit and caboodle here. Let's um, now what I've done at this point is I have changed my probe impedance. I've, I'm now on the times ten probe setting, and um, I boosted up my. Uh, my signal to um, 100 millivolts coming in, but that 100 millivolts is getting divided by 10, so it's now a 10 millivolt signal, but it's a cleaner signal. And, um, and I'm reading it on the uh, 5 millivolt per division setting, and uh, I'm able to see that I have two divisions, which would be 10 millivolts, which is correct.
That's a shame. Alright, now I am on the um, one volt input coming in, but I'm dividing by 10, which makes that a 100 millivolt signal. And I am on the 20 millivolt per division setting, so I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions high. That's 100 millivolts. Okay. 50 millivolts per division puts me at 2 divisions. 100 millivolts. 100 millivolts per division puts me at 1 division. And if I uh, kick my setting up to to uh, 0.2 volts per division, and I go to a 10 volt input divided by 10 through my probe, it gives me one volt. So I have one volt coming in on my, uh, my oscilloscope. I'm at 0.2 volts per division, and I am one, two, three, four, five divisions high. Exactly one volt. So 0.2 times five is one. Okay, so I have uh, 10 volts on my Heath kit coming through a divider, divides by 10. That means I really have one volt coming into the scope. The, uh, the scope is on 0.5 volts per division, and I'm seeing two divisions. Two times 0.5 is one. One matches the one volt coming in. I'm good. That, that one volt really refers to the 10 that I have coming out of my Heath kit probe makes the difference. Okay, so now if I go to uh, one volt per division, we have one division because we have one volt at the scope terminal. If I raise my Heath kit to its final position, which is 100 volts, I need to kick this thing up to two volts per division. Just double check my ground here. Let's And we'll go ahead and turn her up. Now we're feeding 100 volts in, 100 volts calibrated. And we see we are one, two, three, four, five divisions high. Um, and we are set to point, we're set to two volts per division. Five divisions, that's 10 volts. So the scope is seeing 10 volts coming in. The divider divided the voltage by a factor of 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And I have 100 volts on my calibrator. All right, so we've uh, measured channel A voltage-wise, and we're going to move to channel B. Everything checked out fine. All right, we are now hooked up uh, to channel B. We're feeding in 100 volts out of our calibrator. Going through a probe that divides by 10, that gives us 10 volts at the scope. We are at the 5 volt per division setting. I'm right now uh, on ground on channel B, and I'm going to lift it. We're going to see how high we go. And we jump two divisions. 2 times 5 is 10 volts. 10 volts is what we have at the input of the scope, which times the times 10 in the probe gives us 100 volts, which is what we had at the uh, calibrator point. So, good. All right, we go to uh, 2 volts per division. 2 volts per division, we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions. Now that's 10 volts. Again, we had 10 volts at the scope input. That's good. Now I've got to reduce my heath kit calibrator by a factor of 10. I now have a 10 volt signal coming through a divider. Divider divides by 10, leaves 1 volt coming in at the scope. Uh, I am currently at 2 volts per division. I see that I have a half a division of height. That's to be expected. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to 1 volt per division. We now have 1 division of height. And if I go to um, 0.5 volts per division, we have two divisions in height, 0.2 divisions, 
1.2 volts per division gives us five divisions in height. And then I've got to change my heat kit one more time. I'm now on the one volt uh, output of my uh, calibrator, which divided by 10 gives me 100 millivolts. I am on the uh, 200 millivolt per division setting. So my 100 millivolts moves me up a half a division. At uh, <clears throat> 100 millivolts per division setting on the scope, I am one division. 50 millivolts per division, I am two. 20 millivolts per division, I go up five. Now I change my calibrator again. I am on the uh, 100 millivolt output but I divide it by 10, which means I really have 10 millivolts coming into this scope. And that 10 millivolts um, is being read on a 20 millivolt per division range, which means I'm coming up a half a division. If I go to 10 millivolts per division, I am exactly one division high. If I go to 5 millivolts per division and exactly 2 divisions high. If I go one more step, I can't. I'm at the end of my range. So uh, there you have it. Uh, we have gone through the entire um, range setting and uh, all of the vertical uh, ranges on both channels A and B have now tested out fine and uh, as has our time base so uh, we are in good shape both time and voltage wise um, put that together we have uh, we have a good scope all right we're going to give this uh, tenma scope a um, a check on its uh, bandwidth and uh, it's rated at 20 megahertz so uh, the assumption would be that you're 3 dB down at 20 megahertz, and that's why it's the uh, cutoff point. So what we're going to do is uh, we have a, a generator up here that will generate uh, approximately uh, 25 kilo, 25 megacycles, excuse me, at its top end, and uh, we're going to feed that into this 100 megahertz BNK uh, reference scope I have here. I'm using this as my um, my voltage measurement uh, reference and uh, right at the moment we will um, we'll turn up our scale a little bit so we can see it. There's our scale. And uh, I'm going to turn this up so that I get exactly exactly um, plus or minus four divisions. And um, on the 20 millivolt um, per division scale, so we'll have uh, 80 millivolts up, 80 millivolts down. And then we're going to move this probe to the uh, to the tenma, and we're going to see how we do. So there we are. We are exactly plus and minus four divisions on the 20 millivolt scale. That's a full full rated power out of there, full uh, frequency out of that um, generator. So now I'm plugging into the beam K. All right. What we see is that uh, we are now 1.2 divisions down and 1.2 divisions up. So that's 1, 2.8. We're 2.8 divisions up, 2.8 divisions down at this frequency. And that would be equivalent to 3 dB. But Let's check our frequency now to find out what frequency we're running at, because this scope is rated at 20 megahertz, 
And I believe we're running in about 25 right now, but we'll check this. Let's see, we need to move. And uh, what I need to do now is to figure out what frequency we're running at. So I'm going to disconnect my probe here. Pardon me. And I'm going to connect up my uh, frequency counter. Okay. And the frequency counter is reading 25.5 megacycles. So, we are 3 dB down at 25.5 megacycles, not 20. So we have more bandwidth than even the, uh, the original claim. So they were probably being uh, generous or providing a margin of safety in their uh, estimate of what they could actually handle. And it's still, uh, it's still holding. So let's see, put myself back up again here. And once again, we see 2.8 up, 2.8 down. Okay, we've now moved the uh, the input to channel two. We are on 20 millivolts uh, per division scale, and uh, we haven't touched the uh, amplitude. And we see that we are pulling 2.8 up, 2.8 down once again, and uh, it's exactly what channel A did. So both channels. The gain uh, is the same on both channels, and they are both 3 dB down at 25.5 megahertz and not 20. So we've exceeded uh, bandwidth expectations on both channels. So uh, time base was accurate on both channels. We produced uh, good-looking square waves uh, on all of the bands all of the ranges and um, that means that we were producing in order to produce a square wave you recognize what a square wave is so therefore it it must have produced it right and, um, and then we measured the uh, amplitude uh, capabilities the vertical and uh, it measured uh, all vertical inputs properly on all the ranges so if we're measuring voltages in the vertical and we're measuring time on the horizontal and we've got a good-looking trace in between it's a good scope and we check the time base I mean excuse me we check the um, uh, frequency response the uh, bandwidth and now the bandwidth has shown us that it is it has exceeded the actual rating of the scope we're 3 dB down at 25 megahertz and uh, not 20. So it's a great little scope. Good looking, great performer. Somebody's going to have a nice bench.